What's up y'all? I haven't done one of these videos in a long time because I've never done one like it. I haven't been motivated to buy any recent hobby boxes or anything like that. So I've been saving up some of the cards that I've been ordering. And I figured, why not just open them all right here on the video? Most of this stuff I've tried to keep in order to remember uh, which one was which, but they've totally gotten all out of whack, so I don't have a clue what's coming. There's going to be some top stuff, Allen and Jenter stuff, some WWE stuff, but let's all be surprised together. First one out of the bat is going to be a B to open up. That's just the way it goes. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Some of these people on eBay do way too good of a job packing stuff up. There's no middle ground. It's either you do way too good or you don't even try at all. There's just no middle ground. But there's going to be WWE stuff, Brave stuff, all kind of stuff in here. Some of the stuff I may not even remember. Ordering. But I had full intentions on getting a hobby box of women's division and possibly undisputed and uh, when it came down to it I was like man I don't want any of that stuff these, that one card or two that's in the box that you think you might get I'm just, just decided just get the cards you want first one off the bat is a Tom Glavin patch card from Tops a few years ago it's from the 95 World Series when he was the MVP. So I had to have that. I didn't know it existed. I saw it on the eBay and I said, I must. I'm hustling. This is a good one. This is one of the cards from the Heritage set last year that I just had to have. Because it's the AJ Styles Auto. Didn't care if it was a parallel or a base. I just like I just like when you see somebody that like has a card that looks that good, I'm like, that's just the one I have to have. I'm not down with having the first autograph or uh, every autograph uh, when the, the photo's got to be cool. So that factors in with me. Nonetheless, let's see what's one of this one. Oh, this one's from Heritage this year. This one's a more recent one that I got, but I had to get hacksaw just because I dug that I didn't like these cards when I first saw them the way they did the uh, that's a lot of the that legends cards from the heritage set to me the photo was just too repetitive it was like the guy standing there and another uh, background picture of him standing there I was like why would you do that give him an action shot and when I saw hacksaw was in there you know I had to go with it this is another recent one speaking of heritage i'm all about heritage this year i had to get the alistair black i thought that was tight is it numbered yeah it is for people that are into that there you go there you go this one is another one that I was like looking around at uh, Undisputed and some of the other sets or the legend set I guess what I was looking at and I just never talk about bad photographs I never liked the, some of the photos they used for Alundra Blaze but then this is Heritage I believe it was 2015 from a few years ago and I was like that's that's the one to have I'll try to get it in the light something about my lighting in here is off tonight I think they've used similar 
photos to that before, but uh, like when you look at their heritage card from this year, 2018, I think that's the background photo, but it like cuts off, you know, up here at the title, and I'm like, man, I can't have that. I can't have that. I have to have the real deal. This one is one that I had to get. I never cared for these cards. It's one of the Andre the Giant Battle Royal cards, but it's from the first one. It's from the winner, Cesaro. I was there, I had to get it. I couldn't help myself. It's at least Definitely the best Andre Battle Royal. I don't know if I could call it good, but it was the best because my dude won. He did it. Oh, this is, goes with my Tom Glavin patch card. This is a Fred McGriff from the MVP of the All-Star Game from 1994. This one is one that I had to have. It's from Allen and Genter from this year. It is from the Gringo Mandingo himself, Michael Rappaport. The Albino Rhino is now in my collection. <laughs> if you're not listening to the I Am Rappaport podcast, do yourself a favor. Hit download. You'll have a good time checking those out. It always has cool guest and it's always a fun time these two cards I remember this is kind of where I was at with women's division this year I was like man I can't wait to get those and then they came out and I was like nah I don't like any of those these are the two cards that I had to have from the set and got both of them for less than what a hobby box would have cost me or less than what a retail box would have cost me it's Ruby Riot and Shayna Baszler I think these might be numbered we well, yeah, the 66 of 99 and 48 of 50 so there's that yeah I figured uh, everybody was gonna be buying the uh, women's division hobby boxes to try to pull that Rhonda and uh, you know I saw some people that did and I think she's going to have more cards, and she's probably going to have better ones, so I'll hold out. Uh, speaking of cards that I had to have, to me, this is just my favorite Becky Lynch card that's been done. Uh, they've had this photo used similarly before, but I just like this one, especially when you get the blue border. It's like, okay, that's a parallel that I don't mind. I'll take it. Some of these cards I'm just forgetting about. <laughs> okay, this is one from Undisputed to last last year, and it's not the base, but I got it for a decent price. So, and speaking of the guys that you know, some of for some reason uh, Diamond that year had a lot of sticker autos, and like anytime you can get it on card, that's another big selling point for me. Like I'll. I'll take a sticker if that's all I can get, but man, if I can get it on card, that that's that moves you up the ranks. See, I'm already forgetting what these are. Oh, this is my Simon Gotch to match my. Uh, Aiden English from Undisputed. I had, this one I was specific and had to get the silver because that will match my Aiden. And uh, there you go with that. And to close this out, if I remember right, this is going to be an Allen and Ginter card from another 
favorite comedian of mine. I tried to get the auto with this one. I haven't come across it yet, but when I do, I'll track it down. Artie Lane! From the Stern Show, from his own show on DirecTV a few years ago. I love his comedies, his book, Too Fat to Fish, Crash and Burn, Wanna Bet. So, I'm gonna do, got some Allen and Gentry's in the collection now. Two Braves patch cards. And I'll run these down real quick. We got the Simon Gotch. We got the DVP. We got the Man Burger. Ruby Riot. Shayna Baszler. A crazy, stupid Cesaro Andre card. Alundra Blaze. Alistair Black. And AJ Styles. That's why you don't buy Hobby Watches, kids?